So we're at uh, Blair Drummond uh, caravan site near Stirling, which is technically in the Highlands. Yes. So we're looking back at our Highland memories in this video. So you've got a few things that you want to show us. Yeah, well, basically I, I just wanted to, us to talk about why we've been coming to Scotland since 1988, what we love about it, what's changed, yeah. and what did we do before we had a motor home. Right, OK. OK, so why do we like coming to Scotland? <laughs> Daft question, really, isn't Daft it? Daft question, isn't it, really? <laughs> but yeah, no, we love the scenery. It's it's also it's it's pretty varied, isn't it? Yes. It's not just the highlands and the mountains. No. There's forest. There's places to visit. There's castles to see. Things to do. Planes to Planes watch. To <laughs> yeah. Enjoyed about coming to Scotland is the journey. I mean, uh, it, it just gets better and better as you go further north with the mountains. Um, I remember the first time we came, the A74 wasn't a motorway, it was just a single carriageway. And it went through uh, places like Johnston Bridge. Yeah. The only part that was motorway was near Glasgow. And what we used to find was, further north we went, we went from a single carriageway down to single track roads, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so it started off from on the M6, then a single track, single carriageway road, yep. and then single tracks. So it's always been an exciting journey. A bit like this one. A bit like this one down here. <laughs> yeah, so just thinking about what we used to do before we had the motorhome, um, we came up first of all to Inverness area, didn't we? Yeah. So we went up the A9. Yeah, and and Brahan. That's right. Yeah, and, uh, and Dingwall. Yeah, and Dingwall came mm. back there a couple of years, didn't we? Yeah. And one day while we were there, we went out in the car and we ended up on the A832 up past Garv. Yeah. We thought, oh, this is just a single carriageway road here. Mm -hmm. I said to you, what do all these dashes mean on the road? As we turned the corner, <laughs> then we discovered what it meant was mm. that it was a single track road. Yeah. Now that time they were doing parts of it out, weren't they? So um, we ended up sort of going around a church and all this sort of thing. Yeah. And we said, oh, we'll go down to Loch Marie. We'd heard that was nice. Came across that road that we were on recently. That The road just went round the side of the mountain. It was single track. Yeah. A great big lorry was coming the other way, wasn't it? It was yeah. really exciting. So we said to ourselves, right, this looks like an area to really explore, but we, it'd be easier if we were in the area. Yeah. So the following time we decided we'd go to Applecross. And we took a cottage at Lock End Cottage, yes. which is obviously we visited Applecross recently. And uh, we were, I think we were sitting out there admiring the view. So this is, this is really nice, this view, but it'd be nice if we could get different views. Yeah, that's right. We yeah. were going backwards and forwards from the cottage to a view. Yeah. We thought, well, it'd be nice if we could take our house with us. That's right. That's how we first started talking about motorhome. Came back twice again, didn't we? Went to Fernbeg and yeah. Fernmore because we like that peninsula. But it's it was a three quarters of an hour journey to get over the pass Ooh, to get, to get anywhere, out, or a, yeah. similar to get round the coast. Yeah, we thought, well, you know, we'd like to do a tour where we can move on and see a bit more. So yeah. Yeah. that's how we started thinking about a motor home. Yeah, and we we hired one in 1996. 1996, yeah. 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 We took your mum. Uh, and that, that's how we sort of got into motorhome, and we took my mum with us. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she thought of it. No, we went to Grand, Grand Town on Spay, Spay. Yeah. didn't we? Then we went up to Kinla Q was the furthest we went, yeah. back to Edinburgh, yeah. and just thought, well, we like this, but we couldn't do any more then. No. We didn't have the finances. But um, then 2003, I think we've told people, didn't we, bought our first motor home. Sold the, uh, the Ford Puma. That's right. And uh, traded it in for a, a, a Autocruise Vista. Yep. And we took that to Scotland on a tour in 2004, didn't we? Yeah. So but I think the Highlands are they responsible for, for us getting a motor home. Yeah, they are definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. That, yeah. Was, that was the main reason the beginning. And yeah. That's the main reason we, we like using it now. I yeah. mean, the other th only th other thing I was going to mention was that when we couldn't travel this far, when both my parents were ill, 
that's when I started watching YouTube and I started watching other people right. travelling on these roads. And recording their journeys. And recording their journeys. And I thought I'd, I'd love to go ourselves and then be able to look back at yeah. these wonderful scenes. Yeah. So that's how we first got into getting a GoPro, didn't we? Yeah, the Pro that's right. Hero Five session. session little yeah. thing. Yeah, that's right. Just and been talking about getting a GoPro. Hero <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's a few years ago then. A few years ago. But this this sort of scenery. This sort of scenery, yeah. Is why we've always loved coming here, and yeah. I'm sure we always will. I always want to come back. Yeah. I mean, this is not. I suppose it's not really the Highlands, but it's the gateway to the Highlands. It feels. It always felt to me as soon as you got to this sort of area, Stirling. I mean, you turned off onto the A84. Yeah. And then onto the A85. And you start seeing the mountains. Yeah, yeah. Or you come up the other way, Loch Lomond, yeah. A A82. Yeah. As soon as you get to seeing the hills in the distance, I think, oh, I just want to go further and further. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go further and further down this path then? Possibly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go on then. Yeah. So I don't know how difficult or easy it's going to be going down here, but. No. I hope you found this interesting and don't forget to watch the other videos in this collaboration. I'm always interested to see how other people get on. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps us keep making videos. And if you want to see more of us struggling down a slightly slopy <laughs> path, <laughs> please do that. We'll see you soon. Bye. Of course, the other thing is that dogs absolutely love the Highlands. <laughs> Bobby does. Yes, previous Westies did, didn't they? Yeah. And it's nice to bring a West Highland White Terrier to, to the Highlands. West Highlands, yeah. What are you seeing, Bob? Another squirrel in there. Yeah.